Do you know what I did? Got lost. No, I went. I went and stood next Instantly. to. I went and stood next to three L's and said, "I am not paying forty-five euros to sit on Father Christmas's knee." Hi, Jeanette and Phil here from Wendy Way. Uh, in this episode, we have um, a few new dudes with reindeers, um, bears, and we go visit Santa Claus without kids. Um, but first, we we'll do a little description of how we um, had a near do in a wet pine forest one night. We had to move, and we and we apologise for the sound in a little section of it as well. Sorry about that. Okay, hope you enjoy. Well, we had an exciting night last night. Never look.
after what we've got in middle at roundabout. As if the grass is going to be any better there. So, and the boys aren't it? That's fine. The last lot we saw were all the second exit, then go over the roundabout. The boys, they're much more um, opportunistic. Yeah, well, they just do. They, they've almost just like, don't care. They, yeah, they've almost gone a bit crackers, haven't they? Finland is um, full of tree, tree lined roads, but it's also very watery. Now, will Phil call them this exactly? Oh, the draw! No! Oh my life! He won't even stop for a packet with cloud bread. I don't believe it! Is your mouth not watering? Yeah. <laughs> what? Spoil me dinner? Since when's that ever bothered you? Never mind looking at the time for two and a half hours. You didn't fancy stopping. Well, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I can't believe that he is not happy. If you carry on, I'll turn around and go back. <laughs> and you know, the other thing is, it'll be a proper pancake with proper flour instead of that stuff I made. Oh well. There we go. There's the first. Right, Father Christmas, here we come. So we are at the Arctic Centre, Santa Claus place. We could park here, um, free, uh, overnight if we if we wanted to. But um, you can hear the traffic. So we've at, I'll show you where we're stopping later. We've found um, a campsite behind some cabins down by a lake for 35 euros. I know. But you get your electric, you don't get electric here. And Phil wants to watch a football match tonight, so, and I can go and do my laundry. Fun night out. So, we're heading towards this place, Arctic Circle Centre. So this is where we were supposed to have come two years ago, in December, minus 50. So, we're here today, in light rain and about 17 or 18 degrees, quite mild. Let's see what this place has got to offer. A little bit of novelty. Ready? Really? Oh, we're going to have to go through. Is it not? Are we in? I don't know. <laughs> Can, Can you see, see the camera? I can't. No, I've got my glasses on. <laughs> the rain has got your glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> It I think you do it from this side. He's got out to the side of it and on that side. You do it from this side? Yeah, because that's the back of him if you look at it. Wow, what's that? Is this a picture on that side? Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't see that. <laughs> no, he's got the orange missing. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll put my finger on. Yeah. You ready? Mm. I did, I did. Smile. You want candy camera? Can you see it? No. 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 I can't turn my head. Hey? I can't turn my head. <laughs> I don't have to shove it right for it. <laughs> You're mad. You must be mad. Well, I'm a bit tight to pay 45 euros to go and sit on Santa Claus's knee, so I decided I'd have a picture taken with his little elves instead. He looked a nice chap and he had a good laugh, but nah. <laughs> right, Phil, go and stand on that line. Can you set one away? Okay, two on your floor. Yeah. Right, I'll go and stand on this uh, Arctic Circle ball here. Yeah. 
Let me take that, let me take that. I can't keep this silly grin on my face forever, you know. <laughs> so, oh, I do that every time. So, well then. Big holes. Right, so we've come off the right. big main road. It's 89, was it? No, no, it's one to Russia anyway. Yeah, the 89 to Russia. If you go down in the woods to do we are going to look for bears. So we're off looking for bears. And I hope we see one because we've driven six hours. Well five and a half actually. We've done good time, haven't we? Yeah. Is this it? What on that side over there? Oh, 
Oh, by the way, welcome to Sweden. Oh, yeah. We're here. We've only just come over the border, but we were that many road breaks, we didn't know we were actually here, did we? Yeah. We haven't declared cat either. Couldn't find the toll booth to declare it. Yeah. So, so he's a legal mongrel. Yeah, we picked him up, we found him. Straight side at road. Yeah. So we've pulled up for the day. And we're in the Swedish woods. And the first thing we saw, what was it? What was the first shot we saw in Sweden? Ikea. Yeah. Bloody massive, weren't it? Ghost town. Ghost town? <laughs> What's that? Got? That's what's playing, because you never oh. switched anything off. Well, I didn't mind. want to switch it off because it might be a nightmare for you to find it again. It's always a nightmare. Uh, right, I'm just going to go and have a see what's down here. Right. Put, put kettle on if you want. Okay. Right, let's see what's down here then, shall we? It's um, breezy, as you can tell, but it's a lovely sunny day. And it's a warm wind. It wouldn't be warm if you were in your cosy. It'd be a bit breezy, but I'm in my, I'm in my nice warm jumper. So we'll see what's down this boardwalk. I'm building up the anticipation, as Keita says. I've got to build up the story. What cup is he at the end of a gangplank? Well, not a gangplank, a boardwalk. Sounds like I'm going to... Uh, walk off a boat into the sea and forget the plan. Well, as with everywhere else we've been, there's a lovely place to park the motor on. There's a lovely place here to have a barbecue. There's three, three fire pits, picnic benches everywhere, all sorts of old and fairly dilapidated, but place for kids to play. We've parked up on the side of this lake, which is gorgeous. And you can't hear any traffic. And we're parked over there. Good morning. I don't think I've done a 360 of this pitch. It was very nice this day. In fact, it was so nice we stayed here for two days. So we had a chance to get the awning up, which was nice. And we basically had this little field, quad, for the four of us. So one there could go next to us. A lady came to that corner, we had a chat with her. She likes cats. And then another one in that corner. So it was completely surrounded by trees. And round here, we uh, when we arrived, we it's where I filmed the two um, um, squirrels. So they were just climbing up this this tree behind us. They were going up the chasing each other round and round. Meatballs for your tea. Alright, yeah. They weren't Swedish, but they were meatballs. They were Jeanette. Jeanette's special. Uh, right, so this is where we've parked up for the evening. The local, uh, what would you call it? <laughs> no, don't say that. In England, we wouldn't park here, would we? No. Well, there's a, can you see that little cabin over there? It's got a barbecue in there, like a fire pit, and it's got loads of graffiti inside, and it's the sort of place where you'll you bring your um, your boyfriend. Say no more. 
but here it seems fairly quiet so far and it's quite close to a village that we're going to walk to up here. I don't know what this crossover looks like, but it's going to be one of my techniques. Right. So, going across the field, we're living in it with the field. It's not so. So. Nice river. because of the river. I saw two cranes there and I don't know what we're going to see. Oh, you know oh. Yeah. Yeah. oh, that one. I thought you meant the stick sticking up like a little a wreck or something. Yeah. Wait for me. We're going to stand next to the uh, urban, urbanisation. We're going to stand next to the ur urbanisation? Why, what, what? Oh, you mean a street lamp? <laughs> Are you taking a picture of me stood next to a street lamp? Yep. What, back into civilisation? Heather doesn't like nature, so I thought I'd take her a picture of a street lamp. <laughs> Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> yeah. I'll come on this side with you. Why are you on that side, Jimmy? Because I'm deaf and not over here. Oh, okay. If you want me to hear what you're saying and not go, what, what, eh, hmm, what? What? No, where's this go then? I don't know, I've never been here before. I don't know, I've never been here before, Jimmy. Yeah. He likes to say that to me, right? I do. So we'll soon find out. <coughs> well, see what they mean about the light. Look at that. Oh yeah, me and you. Yeah, but doesn't the light look weird? Does it? Well, it does with quite a quiet look like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> yeah. I could see these things. Don't trip over this. All right. You're not supposed to say that sort of words. <gasps> Flip that out. Hey? It seems I have to delete quite a lot of stuff out. Yeah. What are you taking a picture of? Um, Pretty curtains. Pretty curtains. Right then. Oh now we've got a we've got a quad. Yeah. Oh no, is it lawnmower? Oh yeah, is he coming down here? Uh, well, the, men, the man on the quad turned out to be a local that was just checking us out to make sure we were not some hooligans up to no good. And after he was reassured that we were okay, he then proceeded to roll up his trouser leg and show us he's really gammy. Sores. So we like empathised with him and then he went on his way, didn't he? Yep. So next time we um, visit a famous candy town, so every other shop's a rock shop, uh, we go to a really good Viking centre, really good pres preserved artefacts. Um, what's he called? Mickey. Mickey uh, comes across three of his kind in a motor on the pulling up next to us and then we visit two places one is Utrecht and the other is is it Leiden? Mm. Leiden. Yeah, we have a day out in each. Very nice places. See you then. <laughs>